Hi everyone and welcome to my quick tutorial on Unreal 5's vertex snapping. In this video I'm going to show you the way that I get Unreal's vertex snapping to behave as it's somewhat temperamental to put it kindly. In this very simple scene I want to snap this bottom corner of this cube to this top corner of this cube. Now if this was all grid aligned it would be quite easy to do but a lot of the time that just won't be the case. So with the move tool selected, if I select our cube, you can see that we can move it around as normal. And in the very center, the little round icon is the pivot of this object. So we're going to want to move this pivot to this bottom vertex so we can then snap this object to this other cube. Now the way you move a pivot is by holding down the middle mouse button on that little circle and then moving around and you can see we can move the pivot but it's not snapping to our corners or our vertices. To do that in Unreal 5 while you're moving this around you have to hold down the Alt and the V key and you can see it's now snapping to different vertices but it's a little bit wayward and I can't actually get it to snap to this bottom corner no matter what I do. It's actually trying to snap to the sphere behind, I believe, but yeah, you cannot, for the life of me, get it to snap to that corner. So that's really annoying. Another slight issue here is if I want to just check that I'm what I'm snapping to and I select it and I go, okay, yes, that's definitely what I want to do. And I go back to this. You can see this pivot has gone back to its original position. So if you just accidentally click off and click back on, you've lost your pivot position. So that's also pretty annoying. And in all honesty, trying to hold down the middle button, holding down Alt and pressing V all at the same time is a little bit of uh, like finger yoga or gymnastics and it's easy to get that wrong. So I don't like that either. So let's have a look at what I do to solve some of these problems. So instead of having to hold down Alt and V while we're doing this move tool, what we can do is actually just turn on vertex snapping permanently. So if we go over to the settings button on the top right and scroll down, you can see there's an option here for enable vertex snapping. If I click that, we go back to our scene. Now, just by holding the middle mouse button, you can see the snapping is on by default. So that's uh, somewhat easier. Next, let's get it so it doesn't keep forgetting our pivot position. So if it was there, for example, we wanted to have our pivot, if you just right click on the object now, go to pivot, you can press the set as pivot offset. So if I now select something else and select back, you can see it's still remembering that pivot position. So you can move it around or change your selection and it'll not forget. And once you've done it, if you wanted to go back to its default one, you can right click, go to pivot and select reset pivot offset and it's gone back to its original position. And the last thing we need to do is to get it so that our snapping works without selecting the wrong object. So let's start with this cube again, and we want to set the pivot in this corner. So I'm gonna right click, go to visibility, and select show only selected. Then if we middle mouse click, you can see we can get it to this bottom corner, no problem. So I'll right click on there, set that as pivot, and right click again, and go to visibility, show all actors. Now, if we were to left click on this, you can see again, we just can't for the life of a snap to this top right corner of this cube. Again, that's because it's trying to snap to the sphere. So to fix this, let's just shift select that, right click again, visibility show only selected, select our cube, left click, and there it is, perfectly snapped to that top corner. And to finish off, we can go visibility show all actors, and there we go. So I hope you find that helpful. It's a lot better than it was before. It's, it's still not perfect, but I think it's the best I can get it to go. Uh, thanks very much. Bye.